I have been looking for this for about eight months now, and you might be wondering what this is. It is a rain jacket for my camera bag. So you put it over and it protects it from rain. I have needed this in so many situations. Do you know where I found it? In my camera bag. No wonder it was in there because I literally have never used this pocket for anything since I've had it, but this is a topic of discussion today. What is in my camera bag? 2020 edition, I guess. So roll the intro. What is good everyone and welcome back once again to another video. As you can tell by the title today, we are gonna be discussing and talking a little bit about what is inside my camera bag. I've been asked to do a video like this for quite a while now. I've been sent countless DMs and messages and obviously last year I made a my gear video, but obviously that was last year. So a lot of things have uh, changed. You know, I got new gear, I got new cameras, got microphones, we got the office. As a matter of fact, a lot has changed since that video. So a lot of the things that I am about to show you live in my my camera bag every single day without fail. So depending on what I'm doing throughout, you know, those days, whether I'm shooting video for a client or photo for a client, or I'm doing photo work for myself or just hanging out with my friends, it can all depend on what equipment that I take in my bag with me that day. So maybe one day I won't need to bring a gimbal or I won't need to bring an action cam or loads of cables. So a lot of the things that I will show you in this video are literally everything that lives in my bag every single day when I go out. So we are gonna start off with the camera bag itself. Obviously, this is an Inatech Pro. I bought this back in New York for around $140. So I think that's about 100 to 90 pounds for all of my English people watching. But yeah, this camera bag has been with me through every single situation or scenario I have been in since actually owning a camera. So this is my first camera bag and it is still my camera bag to this day. I think it's got about a year left in it because it is it's starting to fray. There's a few stitches out of its place and it is starting to rip in a few spots like on the top here. But I think again, it's got a year left so I don't really need to upgrade at the moment. One thing that I do love about this camera bag is that it's got a very, very flat base. So once I put it down somewhere, no matter how much gear I have in it, it doesn't fall over. So this is what the inside of the bag looks like. You can actually fit a 15 inch laptop in this cool little sleeve right here. And then this is the main part of the bag. Right now, it is pretty set up to when I need to travel and take up a lot of equipment. As you can see, you've got little compartments here for lenses and cameras and stuff like that. If I'm on a day where I don't really need to take a load of lenses and just one camera and one lens and a microphone or anything, I can actually take out these panels and make room for a jacket or hoodie or whatever I want to take with me. One little drawback about this bag is that it's not very hard shelled. It's actually quite soft, which isn't really a bad thing because it's very comfortable, of course, when you wear it. But I think in the future, when I'm looking to buy another bag, I will look for something that's a lot more harder. But for the moment, this is great. It holds all my gear and it has not let me down. It is fraying a little bit. It's starting to wear, but we're still good. So that is the bag and let's move on to the camera. Item number one, we have my Sony A7R. R2. This lives in my bag. This is my photography camera. So depending if I'm shooting a lot of photo that day or I'm shooting a lot of video or I'm doing a bit of both, uh, I've got my a7 III, which I'm currently recording on. But this right here is my main photography camera. I've had this for a few years now. It's not broken apart from that one time where I got a little bit of water on it. Well, not a little bit. I got quite a lot of water on it. I thought I'd broke it, but he survived. Uh, I have a little battery pack on it as well. With these cameras, the batteries aren't very good. So these little batteries that come with the a7R and I think the A7S are quite small batteries and they don't last long at all. So I have this battery pack where I can basically store two batteries in one. So if I'm ever shooting, I don't need to change battery realistically. But one thing I would say they need to improve is the batteries on this because they're not very good. But with the A7 III, the one that I'm filming on, batteries are amazing. They last like an hour and a half, two hours of constant recording. So yeah, this is my main camera, A7R 2 It's always good if you can to have two cameras simply because if something happens to one of them, if one breaks, you've always got that other one to fall back on because there's nothing worse than your main source of income, your main camera breaking. It's always good to have a backup if you can. Moving on now to lenses. So there are two lenses that I keep in my backpack at all times. This one, being the 85mm 1.4. You guys know how much I love this lens. This stays with me wherever I go, if ever I need to shoot B-roll or photography. This is an absolute killer to get those nice compressed shots. And this lives alongside 
inside my Zeiss Batis 18 mil, which is what I'm currently filming on. But this is a really, really cool lens. It's super small, it's really, really light, and the autofocus is lightning quick on it. And I literally use it all the time for my filming. If I'm doing vlogging outside and for videos like this, I use my Zeiss Batis 18 mil, and that is a f2.8 as well. So yeah, those are my two lenses that live in my bag. And obviously, depending on where I'm going, uh, if I need to, you know, take a 50 mil like this one here, if I need to take a 50 or a 35 or even a much wider lens, it all depends on, you know, what I'm doing. But mainly, the ones that live in my bag is the 18 and the 85. Next up, we have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, which I'm currently using right now, attached to a boom pole. Anything that I do that is audio related, I use this microphone right here for any of my vlogs. I use this microphone for everything. And let me tell you, it is amazing. It is so, so good. I've had no problems since buying it with my audio. Literally, it's it's such a good microphone and it sits at about 180 pounds right now, I think, which is quite expensive for a microphone. But let me tell you, if you wanna do sit down videos like this and you wanna vlog and you wanna make sure you get that really nice audio, this microphone is a absolute killer. I would advise getting a dead cat, which is basically this furry looking hamster gerbil, whatever it is called. Um, but basically this goes over your microphone if you're filming somewhere where there's a lot of background noise, where there's wind, this will really, really help prevent your audio sounding like garbage. So um, yeah, if anyone that has a microphone or even any microphone, I would advise getting one of these. For the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, you can buy these dead cats, which are about 11 pounds. So yeah, microphone, Video Mic Pro Plus, dead cat thing. This right here is my mini Manfrotto tripod. It's actually called a Pixie Mini tripod, but this basically lives in the side of my camera bag. And it's great just for little on the go time lapses. Obviously you can tell by the sides of it, look how small it is. And it literally takes a second to set up, set it down, get your time lapse and move on. So this is a great, great little tripod. I do, as a matter of fact, have a much bigger tripod than that. That's not my only one. So before anyone starts roasting me being like, Ben, is that your only tripod? No, spare SD cards, these always, always for me come in handy because a lot of the time I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get in a day but obviously I don't take out all of my SD cards which live in here I'll just take out one or two and then take this little pouch with me which live in my backpack it's always a lifesaver spare SD cards are very very essential and I learned the hard way again by just kind of taking one SD card out and then I'm like oh well that's it that SD's full that's it, can't record anymore. <laughs> now, alongside the spare SD cards come spare batteries. And before I actually bought my Sony a7 III, which I use for all of my video work now, I used to use my a7R2 for all my video and photo work. So I would easily go through like three or four of these a day. I remember this one time when I bought fake batteries from Amazon, I think they were like 15 pounds and I charged them all overnight. And then I put them in my bag and I was like, cool, I got two spare batteries ready to go, put in my camera and didn't work. I was heartbroken. I mean, fake batteries. I didn't even know you could get fake batteries, to be honest. Moving on now to action cameras. Here we have the DJI Osmo Pocket. This has now replaced my GoPro Hero 5 because I literally used this for a day or so and I was like, whoa, this is sick. I need to buy one and now I have one. I have this with me all the time along with a head mount or chest mount. But again, they don't stay with me every single day, but I always have this with me with maybe one attachment. In here are a lot of my mounts, which again, I do not always carry with me um, but if there's a day where I want to do a POV photography video or anything where I want to use an action cam I will take this gear which is in this little white box. Action camera very essential and I will be using this a lot more when I can go back outside and film more POV photography videos which you guys love and I really enjoy making those so yeah Osmo Action. The one thing with GoPros and Osmo Actions they come with so many little accessories and you can just attach them to like loads of different things you just get so many attachments. When I actually bring all my attachments with me I don't have a, like an organizer to put them in. So I just kind of like chuck them in like a pencil case or something. I think that's one thing that I will be needing to get when I get a new camera bag is having that divider, one of those little bags where I can actually sort of section things off because uh, I've had situations where I've bought loads of accessories with my GoPro and they're just scattered and thrown around my bag and it's super disorganized. So yeah, that's one sort of downfall when it comes to having a camera bag. You don't have sort of organizers in it. 
headphones. These are religiously with me wherever I go. I like to listen to music when I travel and also I need them in case I'm editing. I need to take my laptop out. I always have a pair of Beats headphones. These are blacks. I think I, I feel like everything in my camera bag has been black. You know, I'm even wearing black today. Just fits the occasion, I guess. Headphones are always with me because I listen to a lot of music as well when I'm traveling and I think it just keeps me sane. So let's talk about drones. This right here is my DJI Mavic Pro 1. I've had this for about two years now and it is one of the first pieces of film equipment I ever bought and added to my list back at the beginning of 2018, maybe maybe late 2017 actually. I've pretty much taken this everywhere with me wherever I've traveled to new places. I've always had this drone in my bag. This drone has basically been everywhere with me and I think by investing in a drone, whether it be a Mavic Pro or a Mavic Air, it just gives your vlogs a little bit of an edge if you can just chuck in some really cool drone shots within your vlogs and also if you're doing any client work, investing in a drone is quite a smart business move in when it comes to filmmaking and taking your film production to the next level. The Mavic Pro works great for me and I think I might upgrade maybe next year or the year after. Yeah, drone, very cool thing to have. And lastly, we have my photographer's pouch. As you can see, there are a few little bits and bobs in here which I use regularly and some things that I don't use regularly at all. Um, so like I've got a little GoPro remote here which basically allows me to control my GoPro from this little thing. So if I'm not doing any POV videos, I don't have to take the fucking GoPro off my head and press record. I can do it from this little device here. Spare batteries and Allen key for my gimbal, spare drone propellers and some more cleaning cloths. I have a obviously my torch and then a little tape measure, supreme tape measure. I don't know why I have one in here, but just do I need to measure something on the go? Probably not, but it's in there. And then this is basically like a little duster, which I think I've run, wait, where's it gone? This is probably the thing that I use the most out of this entire pouch is my GoPro remote for when I'm doing my POV videos. This is my mini photography pouch. And sometimes obviously I don't always take the tape measure with me. I've just got it in there for now, but I'll put like maybe my Sony charger in there. Everything that is in here, I don't always take with me, but most of the things in here I do. Yeah, it just switches around for cables or chargers or whatever I need to bring if I'm ever doing anything on that day. So yeah, that is my mini photographer's pouch. And that is the last thing that is in my camera bag. I think. I feel like a wizard from Harry Potter. Whenever this comes alive, I feel like I've got a wand in my hand and I can just cast a spell. <laughs> so that pretty much, there's a moth in here. So guys, that pretty much wraps up the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope it gave you a little insight to my everyday carry, what I carry with me every day of my life. When I'm out shooting, when I'm out creating content, this moth needs to go away. I caught him, I caught him. What do I do? I put him outside. I am really trying to up the production of these videos. I've got a new light, I've got a new desk, I've basically got a new office. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos I'm bringing to you weekly. Let me know if there are any ideas that you want me to do down in the description below. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that every time I post you get a little uh, ping on your phone, a little and that is it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, rate and subscribe if you are new and I will see you all again very soon in the next one. Take care, peace.